Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to take a tour of Bob and Kat's uh, real nice trailer here. Uh, we did an interview, so you can go back and watch that interview if you want to get to meet them and to hear their story. But today we'll, meet, we'll take the tour of their rig. So uh, you are in a uh, really nice little trailer here. Yeah. Uh, how, tell us about your trailer. It's a 2015 uh, Springdale. I guess that's a Keystone Springdale. Mm -hmm. It's 21 feet from the hitch to the bumper, 17 feet internally. Um, eight feet wide. Eight feet wide, yeah. I think it's eight feet wide. And it's just Some about stories. perfect for two people plus a large cat. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. <laughs> and, and But a lot of people would think it's too small. Oh, you yeah. haven't found that to be true. Well, Hardly ever. no, because we like to go places uh, up north that are like in the forest. And if you have anything bigger than this, it's going to be really hard to maneuver in the forest and get a lot of nice spaces. Right. Yeah, we wanted something smaller so that we could go into a lot of, uh, you know, state parks and BLM parks in particular. Um, a lot of them were built in the time period where this was about the biggest trailer yeah. that you could buy. And so the sites are much smaller. We, we've we only come across one campground where we really couldn't fit in any of the sites. We've gotten into some tent uh, sites. And yeah. uh, so this was just about right, m comfortable for Bob to pull. Um, yeah, the truck is uh, a 5.4, 250, uh, and it pulls it just fine, but it doesn't pull it as easy as I'd like to have it pull it. So, you know, that, that consideration, and plus at the time, we had our truck camper right after the house sale. So we need to get into something pretty quick. So we thought we would uh, start, small. Smart, start small. And it was, it was the right price for us at the time and uh, size too. So uh, we'll see how things go. But so far, you've been in a couple years? Yeah. A couple yeah. years? Well, yeah, about a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. Yeah, and so far, I mean, we've made 20. a few slight modifications to things inside just to make it easier for us. and more maneuverable yeah. um, inside and yeah I, done a I few love modifications it. I, on it yeah. uh, but you know, not a lot you know. and it's not because we bought it used it was it was three years old when we bought it so all the bugs were worked out pretty, we have not simple had uh, a single problem um, operation in there with mm -hmm. everything that's in there and it's pretty much got everything in there too that yeah. But I think a couple would like to have like an actual bathroom and you know a stove and yep. you know, a microwave if you want to run one. Then we've got one. It turns into storage most of the time. So right. where our coffee makings um, live. <laughs> right. Every once in a while we'll hit an RV park and it can kind of come in handy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It, I, nice size refrigerator. Yeah. It was just. Well, let's uh, go inside and take a look. AC. <laughs> Okay, so we're inside. Why don't you give us the big tour? <laughs> we'll start at the back. Yes. <laughs> so uh, the dining area, um, and it folds down into a bed. And um, basically, half the time it's like this, and the other half it's made into a bed and, or a couch, if you will. Um, little bit of stuff that we've done behind this panel we you couldn't get into the storage bay from the inside and so what i did what we pulled out the panel that's back here and we can stash things from huh. the inside rather than having to go outside like the bed she just rolls the bed right up yep. Whoop, goes right in there yeah so that's Pretty handy. We've got our refrigerator freezer, which we never, we didn't have a freezer in our little uh, camper. And our refrigerator was about the size of the freezer. And so this is like pretty the best good size. Thing. For us. That's a big fridge. Yeah. <laughs> the best thing. Right. Uh, it came with a 12 volt television which uh it's also got a 12 volt outlet outlet down here that i use to um to charge my phone and different things like that um 
I would say the one thing that I don't care for is that there's not very much counter space. Counter space, but then it's a super small trailer. Yeah, so. yeah. And we do make it work. So Really, my thought would be it's immense for a tiny trailer. Yes. Everyone yeah. who walks in here yeah. says this layout is perfect. It is. But one of the things that gives you a little more feeling of space is that we removed the bathroom door. Yeah. Because oh, it, it opened. That made at least 10,000 square feet. It opened this <laughs> so way. Oh, and so yeah. it would oh, be. Oh, it's just stupid to have in it there. It would be out like this. And so, you know, you you're, couldn't walk in your space is back and forth really from each limited. other without hitting each other. Right. So we hung a curtain and. Works great. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and we also there was, yeah, there was removed a, a the door cupboard door because there. you couldn't get in. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was no reason to, to have a door no, on those. So make a make a uh, that doesn't even make sense. Uh, no. it doesn't even make sense. It's like uh, yeah, how could you get in? There. Yeah, and you couldn't. And you could. So that's why kind of we removed that. People were thinking that they were in a house that well, had to have doors. That was then, not very good thinking. <laughs> and then here's here's a thing that we figured pretty early on. This mm -hmm. was inset like this. Well, the only thing that was in there is the pipe that brings the gas, gas up to the stove. Mm -hmm. So I had Bob remove it, put it on hinges. It holds our cat food and our lunch box. And, and our I coolers. mean, there is so much potential for better storage yes. in this place. Yeah. And even down so here, so little by that. little, we're figuring that stuff out. Well, you know, the thing that really impresses me is that enormous window. I know, isn't that great? That sold us on it. I, I would, think, it would me too. Know. Yeah. I like everything else, but that window yes. is stunning. I know. It is. Look at that view you've got. I know. Every morning you lift up the shade, and that's what you get to see. I, I am. I'm blown that's away. Our backyard guys. Yeah. 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 No, uh, but that's that well, is wherever we're at. Probably yes. Probably more than anything in here is what sold me on this trailer. Yeah. I, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you know, we look at other trailers as they're going down the road and fifth wheels. There's and no window very back there. They're just like a, like they're in a can. Big. Okay. You got to get into a big fifth wheel. Yes. They will usually come with a window like yes. that, but that's usually all what it requires. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't want to go there. No. So then you're into diesels. Yes. You know, you got a big fifth wheel. You really got to get a diesel. Exactly. So. And that's a lot more complicated. Yeah. 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 So this is, you know, and uh, like I said, this is where we keep all of our coffee making equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever used it as a microwave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, RV parks and we once in a while. Oh, sure. To yeah. Shore power. Uh, uh, I suppose I could turn on the. I do. We do carry a generator, a mm -hmm. Honda yeah. 2200, yeah. for when we need it. Right. You must have solar. Uh, I yes, got uh, yes. 435 watts total. Yeah. Yeah. Total. It's on top of the. You gotta have pickup. solar in the desert. You do. I think Absolutely. gotta have it everywhere. We just don't in case have we uh, an inverter. Well, yet. we don't have an inverter yet. That's so, kind of coming down the road. I don't is, know if we is need that it what as it's much. Called where so I could plug in a lamp into a 110. Yes, but okay. we don't have that in here. There, it didn't come with anything like that. So. Well, it must have a controller that takes the uh, one ten yes. from the out from the from an RV park, yes. charges your battery. Yes, right. That's and, over here. Yeah, yeah. Was, you're right. Uh, so what some people do is put in and they just plug that into their generator, which you could oh. do with your twenty two hundred. Yeah, yeah. But then you got to run the generator to have one ten. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we use uh, Lucy lights just about for never our need light. To do that. Yeah. But the Lucy lights are one of the coolest things that that we find for. Yeah. Our lights. Yeah. They're solar uh, chargeable. Mm -hmm. We don't and, really uh, need that much electricity. We got like four of them, out. and I can watch three, four hours worth of books and streaming if I want. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, right. so, yeah, I mean, we, uh, you know, we've obviously decorated it with stuff. We've got, we've got our AC. We've got um, things that Just a basic remind AC. us of home. <laughs> You know, and uh, sort of Bob has a, a Swedish mirror, heritage, yeah. so we've got some Swedish things. And but really, it's just it's just us. We're just. Uh, you want to see yourself? No, no. So. Nice. Um, yeah, it's very pleasant. Very yeah, comfy. Yeah. Food up here. We like it. Food down there. We like utensils it. down there. So. Two things. Two sinks. That's really good. Yeah, you yeah. know that's another thing. But Got our little clock here, outdoor thermometer, indoor thermometer. 
the works. things you want in a home. Yes. This yes. makes it home. Yeah, yes. the basic stuff. So yeah. it really is. Um, it's got everything we need and everything we want, you know. And no. sometimes, okay, I wish I had a bath. Tub. <laughs> once in a while <laughs> well there's actually a bathtub in there but i'll be darned if i'm going to fill that thing up with enough water to squat yeah, in. right you yeah. have to be in a rv park to yeah do that. exactly and your so, hot water how much hot water out of your hot oh water heater gosh. would that require yeah. yeah it's ridiculous to think about yeah. so it kind of is no, not gonna gallons, do that probably. Yeah. <laughs> right so so yeah this is our home you lounge around the uh the uh yep Lots dinette of and Lots then you pillows. your bedroom. It's a front bedroom. Yep. Oh, it's not a, a, a no, couch. No, it's not. No. In fact, there's storage. There's the whole storage underneath here. You get it under here. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of storage. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, very nice. There's yeah, that's, storage. that's the weight we got to keep down. Yeah. Right. And there's storage under here, and then behind that is the bay that runs along the, the length of, of the front. Yeah. So. And you can't get to that from inside here either, but that's for tools and mm -hmm. outside yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which got a lot of. It's, yeah. It, it's good that you have it. Yeah. The back of the pickup has some of it yeah, in it. Yeah, the back too. of the pickup is the so, other part of the operation, essentially. But uh, yeah, so generally speaking, clothing over there. I lounge back up here. Up here. He lounges up here. That's why there's another television. I got all my hats up there because I'm in a um, cat net. Because we have uh, differing sleep schedules, a lot of times that's down and I sleep in that. And he sleeps over here. And that's how we make this work <laughs> because he sleeps a, a different sleep schedule than I'm I do. I'm a swing shifter, essentially. Yeah. And I, I, honest to God, that keeps us happy because we both get the sleep we need and we're not interrupting the other person's sleep set cycle. This is our bathroom door if you want to see it. <laughs> sure. We do have one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Because, oh, you know, privacy. <laughs> oh yeah, so, there's certain things you definitely want some privacy for. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, well, and also I wanted to point this out because a young couple that we met at the RTR uh, coming on three years ago now, wonderful young couple ben and sarah, ben and You're, sarah. you know you talk about meeting people and being friends and having those that community and they are part of our community and she made this for us um last year at the rtr and gave it to us and it's got our cat in the window and you know the color of the truck and it's got the wave on the trailer which we just love it and that's yeah that to us is what this is that really is what this is all about. Uh, connection. Yes. Yeah. 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 Not just so. the joy of being out camping, and but yeah. the connections you make along the way. Yeah. Oh, we've always loved camping, but we've met some amazing yep. people. You out sure do. Here. So yeah. we feel very fortunate that it's worked out. <laughs> right. Oh, well, I'm going to stick my camera in your bathroom. Oh, is that sure. okay? Yeah, yeah, Because it's yeah. a nice big bathroom. It is. It's it's the uh, it does have the cat box in it. It's got to go somewhere. The cat, although he would prefer to live outside, and he is out there somewhere. Teresa's is keeping an eye on him. But yeah, and we uh, we put the reflectix over the sunroof skylight. there or the skylight oh, yeah. because man, it gets hot in that <coughs> little room, and. Mm. Uh, so for us, this is, yeah. That is a big, pleasant bathroom. See, see, and so you understand, everybody, like I said, everybody who comes in here says. How can it be this, this big? is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like the TARDIS on Dr. Hood. Yeah. <laughs> You've got this really. enormous <laughs> living room. Yes. And with that incredible view. Yeah. Yeah, wow. I just, I, I tell you, it, it, and I have an oven, which I had never used a propane oven before we moved in here. And it was a little terrifying uh, at first, but it works. And I, from what I hear, Good not, job. not even some of the new RVs have ovens in them, which I. A lot of people don't want them. That's they really? end up just being storage. Yes. Oh, well, I can see that. Yeah. I guess, I guess. But it's there when we want it. Yeah, I, I mean, it is storage. It carry. It's all my pots and pans for right now. But right, I use it to bake things and 
you know? Right. That's becoming kind of a lost art. <laughs> I guess <laughs> right? so. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So. But you hang on to the good ones. Yeah. So this is, this is our little home. It's great. I yeah. can see this being something I live in the rest of my life yeah. very, very comfortably. Yeah. And even for two people, it's big and pleasant. It is. For one person, it, it'd, it'd be, be enormous. A palace. Yeah. This is maybe too big. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It might even be. Yeah. 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 No, I don't know. I love and it. And I have yeah, I do too. say I bought too small. That absolutely cracks me up. Yeah. Well, and we have our bikes on the back. Done. On mm -hmm. the outside, we've got a bike rack. So we bring our bicycles and with a us. Mountain bikes. You know, and I mean, it's it's got a lot of storage I got my two outside. friends here, Mr. Acoustic <laughs> and Mr. Electric over there. <laughs> You're a real music couple. Yeah, he much more than oh, me. I kind of gave it up. Be. Yeah, you were the minor in college. And True, but had I... Had the great voice, still do. Just but, don't do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need to do it anymore. We're having a talent show at the RTR. I know. I'm going to come up there and make some noise, I think. This uh, year. Yeah. He probably will. For sure. Do so, it. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. You know, there are a lot of really, really good musicians out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, living yeah. this life. Mm-hmm. So he's always on the lookout for them. We are, um, we've are. we been thinking about doing more and more um, caravans that are act oriented towards activities oh, no. and at the top of the list would be a music caravan i think that's a great uh, idea yeah it is we when we, we hopefully we'll get that done but wow. i think that would be a really good one yeah probably after the rtr we'll designate some as a music one yeah. there may be a um uh a meditation one oh, that's yeah. something that there's a lot of folks out yes. here yes. interested in yeah mind, yeah well, they're really no, music, they're not, that's not really yeah. meditation either. Okay. Well, so. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. I think that'd be a, one of the things we definitely want to be considered doing. I think doing. those caravans are one of the best ideas you've had. I agree. I, I really do. That was wise. Uh, people will still write me and say, oh, I want to come out, but I need to join someone. Yes. To, and now I can yeah. answer and say, go here. Yes. Yeah. There's and someone waiting. Yeah. 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 That was, yeah that's big. Yeah. It is big. Really big. Yeah. Uh, well, Bob and Kat, thank you so much for sharing your home with us and your story. It's just fantastic. Uh, there are going to be a lot of people that see this say, I can live that way. Yep. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and thank you too, Blue, <laughs> for sharing your home with us. <laughs> we, we left your uh, cat box just the way we found it. Yes. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. There you go. So, folks, I hope you got something out of this video, and I'm sure you did. Uh, if you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.